One of the reasons why I don't teach copyrighted songs on YouTube is because I hate dealing with copyright. It's complicated, messy, and it's time consuming. There was a moment in 2015 when I uploaded about 40 song tutorials and I ended up taking them down because I couldn't cope with the number of copyright claims each video had. The publisher, meaning the guy who owned the song, rightfully and lawfully claimed the video, meaning I am using somebody else's music, I am teaching somebody else's music, therefore they have the right to claim the video. Now sometimes it's a copyright claim, meaning they take the revenue that my video generates, sometimes they can take the video down, sometimes they can also give you a copyright strike, which affects your YouTube channel. Obviously guys, we can talk about fair use all day long and obviously I could dispute the uh, copyright claim, see if I can get away with it but I'm not this type of guy if I know that I'm using somebody else's music I'm not going to feel okay with it so I took all the videos down I gave up on the views and the comments and the subscribers and I just decided that I will teach my stuff now during the past couple of years I created a video format in which the music that I teach during the video is played at the beginning of the video so I write the music I own the copyright I don't have to stress about copyright let me give you an example So you have the instrumental at the beginning and then I will teach you how to play the song. Now some of the music that I teach in my videos then eventually become songs, so I like to copyright this music. So first thing, I just deposit the music to the CI, which is the Italian Copyright Collecting Agency, I gotta read that. And then I also make sure that in the video description, the YouTube video description, I tell people that I don't want my music to be sampled. Now despite that, I have a lot of requests from people asking if they can sample my music. So they want to basically download the audio from the video and then modify the instrumental by adding other instruments to create another song. Now I always say no to these people, not because I don't want to share my music, but just because I don't like the fact that my music can be modified, uploaded to other websites and then be distributed to other people that I don't know. Now, sometimes you find people that actually send me the sample and they're like, hey, look, I just created a sample with your music. Let me know if you like it. And sometimes they just grab the music, they change it, they sample the music, and they don't even tell me that they did it. First of all, it takes hours, sometimes days to come up with your arrangement. Then you gotta record and mix the whole thing. And then you gotta pay to copyright the music. So I don't understand why someone would think that it's okay to grab the music and use it like it's free. It's not free. It takes time, it takes effort, and it takes money to record this music. So it is not cool to use it without permission. Second, you never know where this sample is going to end up. So maybe it's going to be uploaded on a website where people can download it. So they're going to download your music, which is copyrighted, to create other songs. And this thing can happen many times. Third and most important thing, I just don't wanna have trouble and spend time dealing with copyright stuff. So a few days ago, one of you told me that one of my songs was used in a rap song. So I kind of, you know, asked for the name and then I checked the guy. And when I listened to the song, I actually heard my guitar. <laughs> So we're kind of gonna stop here. We don't wanna to listen to the guy rapping over my music, but it's definitely my guitar. Now, I'm not going to show the name of the guy. This video is not about exposing anyone. Instead, I wanna kind of try to bring awareness of how messy it can be when you actually sample copyrighted music. So I get in touch with him on Instagram and I tell him that I can hear my guitar in his song. So I also tell him that I will get in touch with my distributor, which is DistroKid, to let them know that my music was used uh, without permission in another song. So he replies and he told me, the instrumental was free for profit when I uploaded the song on Spotify. Now free for profit means that you can download the sample, you can download the music and make a song out of it. And you can also stream this music and make money off of it. You could also sell the song, I think. So for example, I could create an instrumental and tell people, you can download this instrumental and create a song out of it. 
it's pretty common for some YouTubers to actually give away free samples, free music samples, in exchange for credits. It's legal as long as you own the beat. So at this time, I'm kind of confused and I'm like, did you buy the beat? Did you pay for it? And he said, yes, I bought it. Um, you know, YouTube video, I click on the description and I bought the beat. And then he started blaming his producers, like, it is my producer, not me. Maybe he paid the guy after speaking about the exclusive rights by email. So it looks like there's a guy who took my music and sampled my guitars and made this sample available to everyone as free for profit. Now this rapper ended up downloading this song and make a song out of it. So I asked him to provide the YouTube link of the song so that uh, you know, I can get in touch with the guy who is apparently uploading my instrumentals on his YouTube channel and give it or sell it to people. So I finally have the YouTube link. I just click on it and this is what I see. Now again, guys, I'm not going to expose this person. However, you can see that the video has 50k views and then it got free for profit. Uh, you know, we got the title and then sad guitar instrumental. Now I'm not going to play the video. This is just a screenshot. Uh, I'm not going to play the video. Also, you have a lot of, uh, you know, kind of bad words here. I just don't want to do it. And the thing that really that's kind of upsetting is the description, which says, you know, this beat is free for all uh, use as long as you created me, meaning this guy, uh, in the song title when you use it. So it's kind of, you know, you take a piece of music that is not yours, you change it up a little bit, and then you give it to people like it's yours. Now, he also says, if you have questions, DM me on Instagram or send me an email. So we're gonna send him an email. Now I'm not gonna read the whole email, it's a long email. And one thing that I regret guys is the fact that I went you know, full anger on him. I was really upset and I really didn't like the fact that he was giving away my music like this. And so I told him, you know, I kind of told him who I was and then I said, I'm writing to letting you know that I'm finding a copyright infringement on YouTube Mediafire, which is the place where, you know, the stuff could be downloaded uh, and SoundCloud to let them know that you are sharing copyrighted material on their platform. Now, my goal is obviously not to get upset at him, but I want him to understand the copyright mess that he's making by giving away a copyrighted song to everyone. So I told him, I understand that you have a passion for music and that you love to create samples, but people are downloading your samples and creating their songs using material that is already copyrighted. I just had a guy singing on the same beat that you created using my guitar instrumental and he claimed it's his song and that he bought the beat from you. So I then keep going, trying to let him understand the problems that he can create with copyright by doing so. So I wait a little bit and then he replies, uh, it's kind of a short replies and he says, um, hi, I'm sorry bro and I totally get what you are saying. I will remove all videos using your samples immediately. So it looks like there are more videos. I'm only aware about one video, but you know, it looks like there are several videos. So he took not only one of my instrumentals, but maybe just a couple of them. And then a while after, the beat is now removed from all platforms. I am sorry for the inconvenience. And then, you know, I reply and I say, thanks for removing the samples. Your actions don't create just inconveniences. Every time you rip off music from other people, you jeopardize days, if not months of their work. Now, one thing that I like about this guy is the fact that he understood right away the mistake that he made. So he replied and he said, yes, bro, I am completely aware that sampling you was wrong. I also just wanted to let you know that at the time I made this beat, my YouTube channel was a lot smaller than what it is today. This of course is no excuse for sampling you without permission, but at the time I was a lot less serious with my YouTube than what I am today. So pretty good, the guy understood the problem and so he removed uh, my samples, which I'm really, really happy about. Now let's just quickly talk about the problems with downloading free music from YouTube. Let's just make it practical, okay? So let's just say that I write a guitar instrumental and then I tell people that this instrumental is available for free. You can download this audio, you can sample this audio or sing on it, I don't care what you do with it, and then you can also make money off of it. So it's free and free for profit, so you can use it to make money. Now, 10 people download this sample and they create their song. 
everybody is happy. Now here comes guy number 11. He downloaded my sample and writes a beautiful song. He is so proud of this song that he decides to actually copyright the music. So he pays a little bit more money to DistroKid, the kind of a common distributor, and then he can have the song uploaded to the YouTube content ID. Now the YouTube content ID will scan the song and then it will scan YouTube. And when he finds a match, it will flag all these videos that have the same song. So all the people who actually use the same sample will get a copyright notice and not only them, but also me. So if you are really serious about music, you should never really download music from YouTube or any other website, even if it's free or free for profit because you never know what it can happen to the song. So that's it for today, guys. Sorry, a little bit of a rant today, um, but I really wanted to share with you my experience. Now, I don't blame anyone, I don't hate anyone. I think we all make mistakes and we all come from uh, you know, different experiences. So just learn from your mistake and uh, kind of just try to get better. And that's the reason why I wanna share this experience so that if right now you're using uh, you know, samples that you don't know where they come from, just kind of do a little bit of research so that you don't get in trouble. Also, it's important because if you're using somebody else's music, you could have all your work taken down by the author. So make sure that you use, you know, uh, stuff that you can keep so that when you write an awesome song, it's yours forever. Now, I'm going to leave you to think about this and I'll see you soon for another tutorial. So next time, a guitar lesson, I promise.